and welcome back to my channel. What are for new? Welcome. What is that? How's it hanging? Today we have a special video. Just got my delivery in from Morphe. Um, I ordered the Jaclyn Hill palette and a couple other products. So um, we're gonna try it out today and see if it's worth the hype. Not, well, it's not been very hyped to be quite honest, but we'll see what it's all about. So, let's just get right in. I'm kind of excited. Ooh, okay, so I got um, palettes and a couple other products. I've been wanting to try out the Morphe liquid lipstick in Hot Shot because. Jacqueline Hill used to always wear it and it looks so pretty on her. <sighs> Let's see. <sighs> okay. That's what it looks like. Hmm. I don't know. You don't know until you try. I don't know. Yeah, it looks so pretty on other people, but who knows? Hopefully it looks just as pretty on me. I do tend to prefer more of a blue-toned red, but I really wanted to try it because it looks so pretty on other people. And I also got this Morphe lip gloss in the shade Boho. Which I think probably will go better with the look. Well, we're going to try one of them. Anyway. So either we're going to do crazy look or I don't know. We'll see. Okay. The moment of truth is about to come. So it comes like this with a picture on the back. Oh wow. She's like on the back it says, past few years have been absolutely insane. So many highs, so many lows, amazing memories, and tons of drama. Can I talk about drama in this? Through all, of, through, all, through all of it, my subscribers always had my back. Thank you for loving and supporting me no matter what. This palace is to embrace in the past, only the present, dominating the future together. Hope these shades make you feel strong, powerful, and loved the way you make me feel every day. Nice. Definitely like this packaging better than the old one. Pretty. That's what it looks like. It's very intense. For sure. Hmm, okay. There's a couple shades in here like that really excite me. Like this kind of, I don't know what you'd call it. Oh, oh it's just, can you see me? Okay. Uh, it doesn't so much look great to be honest, but that doesn't mean too much. This is a kind of neon peachy color. It was exciting for me. Okay. Let's see. Therapy sesh. Looks cool to me. That one's pretty pretty good. Ooh, I really need to try living my best. Ooh, pretty. Let's see. Oh, that one's nice. The red. Mmm. It's got little sparkles in there. I mean, I'm just gonna keep it really real. A lot, some of these colors did kind of remind me of her vault palettes, like the purple, purple ones, or even like her Ring the Alarm one, I think. Kind of the similar color stories, do you know what I mean? Like the oranges and then the, the purples. Just trying to think here. 
I mean, person, it's like, it, it's a lot, you know? In person, it's like, it's pretty. I'm trying to think here. I'm the type of person, like, I, I don't know, I used to be more unafraid of color, but lately I've just been super neutral. Um, but yeah, this is so pretty. And I hear ne neons are coming back for the summer, so that's good. Um, and yeah, so... Whatever you might think about Jacqueline, by the way, this is about the product. I don't really want to get into anything. And please don't bash on her appearance or anything like that because that is uncalled for. We're just going to stick to reviewing the product. And yeah, I spent my money so you, could, you don't have to. So what I'm going to do is, this is not going to really be a tutorial. It's going to be more of like um like a demo. Last time uh, with the tattoo palette I did two different eye looks and I think I'm going to do the same because same thing for this just so I get a better feel for eye looks. So um, I'm just going to put on a couple some tunes for you guys and sit back and enjoy the rest of the video I guess. Well I'll, I'll be back. I promise. <laughs> oh my god. Okay.
tried to do uh one eye a little more artsy or editorial i don't know how it looks on camera um my uh, the thought was kind of like a neon grunge eye that turned into kind of like a cat eye or something i don't know let me know what you think about it i don't usually do this kind of looks and i'm not quite sure about it um, and this is more of like a basic look. Um, so I do have some thoughts. Um, uh, for I was uh, I was not very impressed by the shimmers. I mean, there's a couple ones that like do look pretty like they look wet on the eye. There, this one was empowered, and I use Drama Queen as well. But um, they don't even work with a wet brush you need a finger and you have to really rub it in but once it's on there it does give a nice wet look to the eye um, but it is that does make it a little bit more difficult with it's impossible to get onto the brush I found the same with Talia I'm in it um, which is that opaly shade I was able to get um, onto the brush but it did take quite a few times to build it up um, the living my best which is the red shade didn't give me as much of a punch as I wanted once I put it on the eye it kind of turned into almost like a burgundy I don't know I, I had a lot of colors going on there but it kind of it wasn't as vibrant uh, on the eyes it was in the pan um, and I actually kind of did get feel that from even the kind of more bright like this bright orange like it still looks kind of peachy but it's ne not nearly as neon as it is in the pan and this is a palette where I feel like I would have to dip into another palette um, I just I forced myself to kind of stick to just this palette but I wish it was um, kind of like a highlighting shade like the shade shade she had in her original palette um, but she did say this is uh, supposed to be a supplemental palette to her first so maybe that was the thought behind it and that's probably why she probably figures most people have the first so they can use this in conjunction with that um, because there's so many neutrals and warm colors in there so uh, maybe she figures this would be for your pops of color um, I have been 
kind of out of using color for a while so it feels a little weird to me I guess I felt a little bit inspired to do this weird avant-garde I don't know what you would call this kind of look but I guess who knows with time and practice maybe you'll I'll feel more inspired to do color but color hasn't been my thing for a while um, and if it, I do do color it's usually more like greens or earthy tones or um, so this is kind of different but I feel like Co this is going to be everyone's go-to for like Coachella or festival season or something, I'm sure, because the, the I feel like the mats are the stars of the show here. Um, I feel like had I had put down like a more bright or white primer, I probably would have gotten a lot more brightness out of the colors. Um, wish there was a bit more of a light transition shade, um, and there's a bit of kind, uh, kind of overlap, like like these kind of shades are a little too similar to each other um, or even these shades are pretty similar one just like a couple notches darker um, uh, you know what I mean I don't know how to explain it it's, just, it's like some of the shades are just a little too close to each other like these shades are almost like the same color but a couple of shades off from each other uh, I really wished that the shimmers performed better because in her first original palette the shimmers performed amazing so I'm not sure what happened there but the only way to get these shimmers to or at least the ones that I've tried so far which would be I think I even tried to I didn't get any payoff from Rider Diamonds especially in the corner where I was trying to put it because you know my fingers don't really fit in there so that's that could be a problem so I think it was uh, Rider, uh, Drama Queen, Rider Diamonds, um, Talia, and I'm in it that I used, and Owen oh, Empowered uh, that I used, and Talia, I was really digging in there with my brush, and I could not really get any pigment out of it. Um, so at the end of the day, do I feel like you need this? Like you, you like you might have to have it in your collection. No, I don't think so. I mean, if you like color, then yeah. If you like these colors, then yes. Uh, if you're a neutral tone person, then probably not. It's up to you. Do you like the colors? Um, do you If you like shimmers, then you might find yourself getting annoyed of the fact that you're going to have to dig in there. Um, I guess it's up to you. It, but... Uh, I wouldn't say it's something you absolutely need to have It's going to change your life or anything like that, but if you're into colors and you like these colors, then yes. Um, I would say the, the mattes are, the, are, are what's better from this. The shimmers, they need some more work. I'm not too impressed with them. If you ask me which palette I prefer, I would say the original palette because I feel like I'll get more use out of it. This, to me, will probably become like once in a while if I need to, if I feel feeling frisky or something. Not frisky, I think that's the wrong word. But like in the summer or something, maybe I'll gravitate more towards these colors. But I don't know, it just feels still a little off. I don't know, it's not really my, my thing, at least not yet. Who knows, with time and playing with the colors, maybe I'll grow to feel a little bit more comfortable wearing more colors but it is pretty I will say that um, so if you're interested in the mattes the mattes are good but the shimmers they only work with the finger so I guess that's up to that but like it's up to you at the end of the day um, yeah I mean I don't know I'm just gonna have to play with it more more I don't hate it but I'm not like as gagged over it as I was thinking I don't know. I think I have to play with it a little bit more. Um, the look I made, I'm just, eh, it's okay. I was just a little bit disappointed with the shimmers, like I said. But I guess um, let's just wrap it up there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you are going to be picking this um, eyeshadow palette up. Let me know your thoughts. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Um, just keep it civil, nothing rude please, and no comments about Jacqueline's appearance, nothing like that, um, just be kind. 
So with that being said, I hope you, if you enjoyed this, please comment, like, subscribe. Don't make it weird. Hope to see you back here again. And thanks again for watching. Bye.